Hello everyone, welcome to Moldova, a small country jam-packed between Romania and Ukraine in Eastern Europe. And it happens to be the country where I was born, my home. This is the start of the vlog, I know, not very usual start, however, I just forgot to start it earlier. So we've met my friend that we spent a couple of days at in the capital city of Chisinau. First thing that you have to do when you arrive in Moldova is to go get some good food. Moldova is renowned for good food, good wine and beautiful women. And obviously we take all the three boxes in this vlog. We decided to go to La Placinte. La Placinte is a very traditional place showcasing homemade food like Siamma, Placinte, which is a pie and other delicious meals. And I'll be describing to you in a second what exactly they are. I told she pressed it. Okay, back to whatever we were saying. The favorite food for me from this table is this and this, placinti and sarmale, and then this. But the meat needs to be done better. Okay, tell us something about the placinti, the ingredients. Yeah, but film my face. <laughs> <laughs> so it's cow's uh, cheese with some whatever green stuff and yeah. It's Amazing. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, you can Tell do more. Yeah, see some white in there as well. <laughs> yeah, I said that's the cheese. But this is like just uh, flour and water basically, salt and pepper. Uh, but yeah, those are chicken wings. I think it's all the people more about the. Uh... Yeah. Sarmale. So, say, say the here. word. Sarmale. What sarmale? Yeah, great. Sarmale is a dish with like cabbage leaf basically and rice and meat but you also have them in a different version so you have them with grape leaf and you first make the filling and then you wrap them in it and then you eat it Do you think, do you think foreign people sour. care? I don't yes. think they care oh. Foreign people Yes they care Irish people right? You care Leave a comment but, um, down below if you care <laughs> My 85 Yay. subscribers. Woo. Um, okay. Of course, I care because I'm a local. Yeah. So next place we're gonna go. Oh, is to Stephen's mom texted you. Oh. Yeah. So we're gonna go and talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Maybe mm -hmm. like South Africa is the like <laughs> Why do you think? You have to be dragged back over with. Uh, Terog. Teador. Ah, Teador. <laughs> passion fruit. Oh uh, no, first time martini, da. Da, no, it's passion fruit in Trento. Ah, uh, no, it's. No, but. That's a gentle. What did you get, baby? It's a Suzu gentle. Okay. I feel um, dance. <laughs> oh, show her the dance move. The, the mantis. Come on, baby. Come. Just get a bit more. Oh, yeah. we you. Okay, we can cross. Okay, just go there and then we can do it. Baby, it's like this. Yeah, I would like this. Okay, do the spider. The spider is like... <laughs> and now the mantis. Yeah. <laughs> Piana Vishnya is a place in capital city that is quite different from the usual bars because they only serve sour cherry liquor, a very traditional drink in Moldova that is also made at home in most of the villages or places. So this is literally the only thing that you can order here. So I would say if you ever happen to be in Moldova, pass by, get a drink, get warmed up and move on to the next place.
I always thought Chisinau is a beautiful capital city, and this is Chisinau at night. Mm. Yeah, this is the city it's hall. It's, it, I don't remember when it was like actually built. Uh, probably by Russians, because it's like this big Good morning. Good hey, morning all. Where are you? Uh, Moldova. Still in Moldova? Yeah, uh, still in Moldova. Where Tracked. are you going Good today? Night. Hi. Hi. We are on episode number two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, today we're going to Mimi Castle. Just gonna take a taxi there. It's like around 40 minutes and I think it's like 10 euro. Is it per person 10 euro or 10 euro in total? What? For the taxi. I think it's gonna be per person. Okay. But it's still not that expensive compared yeah, no. to like France, you know? Yeah, I know, definitely. Um, so we're very excited for that. And um, again, take you with us throughout the day and you'll see whatever I don't forget to film. We should have like the number here to do away then. Hmm. We'll see what's happening. Yeah, but we need to go, baby. Taxi. Oh, yeah, but like the left is no. a Okay. I'm just gonna zoom in. Woo! <laughs> I see the taxi is here already. And uh, in Moldova, people don't have patience, so you need to be fast, otherwise they won't wait for you. And um, yeah, in general, it's a country where people don't smile a lot. But Mm -hmm. Yeah, also I think uh, this guy speaks only Russian, but we'll <laughs> teach him some Romanian. Are you enjoying so far? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So this was built by Mimi's children. Seems like people are not really keen on the restaurant there. <laughs> if you want to wash your hands on the right. Okay, this is Yama, so we're gonna try a new soup as well, so very traditional. This one is willow flowers, linden flowers and some citrus and obviously the grapes and it's like from collection of kind of tree uh, vines that go together usually and this we don't know yet what exactly this is. Merci. <laughs> she asked, oh, do I need to explain what we have on the plate? I was like, no. <laughs> okay, the more and more you're gonna become Moldovian soon and you'll know more about the culture and you'll ask for this food. And I'm not gonna make it for you because it's very complicated. Da. <laughs> Say uh, cheers to my subscribers. Narok. Narok. Just me. 
Ура! Alcoholic. <laughs> Anna. Celebration time. What does it smell like to you? It smells like heaven. Like what? Like heaven. Oh, heaven. I thought you said Kevin. <laughs> Kevin is my dog. That's not my fault as many English words. Yeah. Rhyme. Rhymes. Yeah. Rhymes. <laughs> no, Kevin stinks at the moment, no, so. Yeah. Are you like, wow, what an insult. She did not wash her dog for years probably when, yeah, I, when I was... <laughs> she just doesn't like dogs. Okay, She's she a cat person. Yeah, I, I, what? I like some dogs. But yours was stinky because you didn't wash it when I was your guest. <laughs> You're gonna cook it. Baba Nyagra with prune ice cream. This is something like similar to brownie in a way that's a meringue and um, seems like Stefan is enjoying it. Yeah, I don't think it's really, don't think it's really traditional in the south. We wouldn't really have Baba Nyagra, which literally translates to black grandma. Mm, it's like a bread, but like a brownie at the same time. So I'm gonna enjoy this and then we probably are good to go home. Maybe. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, it's a good Hi. It's another new experience. <laughs> what do you think? Maybe it's the same as any other European freaking trolley. Yeah, but have you ever been on a trolley before? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think it's a new it's one. New for me. <laughs> Austria, we were in a lot of them. Okay. So tell us what you got. Got a nice chicken now. What, 2.35 liters? Why did you get it? <laughs> because it's a big beer in a bottle. It's a bottle. <laughs> That's why you got it. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing? Maybe you can film a documentary. <laughs> oh, 
Oh guys, we are back home. Today it was really nice at the castle. All I'm gonna say, they are quite pricey. So like we paid 790 lei or 709 lei, I don't know. So it's around 30, 40 euro um, for a tour per person. But we got kind of today full meal included. So like traditional dish and four wines to taste and a dessert in the end. Um, which was alright with like obviously the tour and everything and um there is like a taxi that we had to take and then back because it's like one hour away from the city center and then we were gonna go to another one in the evening just to eat but then i think we're not gonna go because again it's quite far out from the city and um just yeah not worth it so Instead, we're gonna chill at home, chat, relax, and tomorrow morning we have Milesh Timic, the biggest winery here, which my friend worked at. And she says there is now like a train that takes you through, and you actually, like before, it, you had to drive through with like your car, but now you just drive through with the train. And also, it's gonna be English tour, which um, at least I don't have to translate because today um, they only had the tour offerings in Romanian and Russian so I had to translate for Stefan. Um, so I'm gonna show you again the view from my friend's uh, house. Uh, she is on the 13th floor which is quite cool. I uh, wish we had something like this in Ireland to be honest. So you can see here 13th floor. Ooh. That side is like the gates of the city and then that side you go more towards like the city center and so Feels nice to be off already and tomorrow we're gonna go to my aunt's house and see them a little bit before we head to my city and my village where I'm from because my granddad is like waiting for us to already arrive Um so yeah we'll probably go home on like tuesday or monday morning sorry uh, tuesday morning or monday evening depending on how i feel because we still have a few things that we want to do or look at here in the capital city so yeah <laughs> so far so good uh growing up i used to come to the capital city like every summer for like at least a month or so and stay at my aunt's house but I've never like really explored the city because I was quite young so now I feel like I'm doing more exploration than I ever did but I feel it always happens like when you're um when you live in a country you don't really explore it so yeah it's definitely nice nice to know that what we have and uh, to be proud of it well here's my friend Whoa. okay that's why I'm friends with her okay <laughs> Hey, good morning guys. We arrived at Milesti Meach today, another winery, which, wow, it's like very nice outside area. Look, there's like the wine pour pouring everywhere. There's white wine, there's red wine here. And we actually have the tour starting at like 11. And this is probably the biggest underground winery in the world from what I believe. And they also have some of the biggest collections. So this is gonna be our last winery here around the capital city. Maybe we will do some in the south and uh, we are still potentially thinking about one more on kind of the west side of the country, uh, Purkar, but we might not do that one, so we don't know yet. Uh, what I like about this one is that we get um, see the wine traditional... Zone. The what? The wine pie zone. <laughs> Uh, wine fly zone yeah that's funny i like this one that it has the traditional music so already the vibe is amazing so let's go get our tour uh, sorted out are you ready for that medivan yes. baby <laughs> i feel like i'm never in my own video hi guys this is my country <laughs> this is where the weirdos come from come come No, but I must say this is like really cool, right? No, I'm actually asking you. Oh yes, this <laughs> is very cool. Like, 
gives good expectations for big glasses of wine now. Yeah. It's the average size of glass in Moldova. So Vlada, can you tell them what's all included in this tour now? Um, so in this tour I think we have obviously the tour of the winery uh, with some platter with like snacks and tasting of wine and also we get like a bottle of wine at the end to take home so this is not gonna be a like food tour really because we did that yesterday so it's rather just to get the experience of everything you can can you tell them what the price is that you'll be paying now in moldovian lei as well as the euro for two people it's a thousand six hundred lei and how much is that 80, 80 euro right so what do you feel about that? Ah, uh, expense for the tour. I'll say that's a good price you can pay. I'll say I find it maybe a bit expensive because okay. I'm used to a different experience, but that con experience doesn't compare at all to I'll say what you get here. So I'll say it's definitely worth paying the price. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Fine. So Anna is not with us today. But she used to work at this winery, so she knows everything about it. She did the tours in English mostly, from what I believe. So we are just gonna explore it for ourselves. I really like it so far, but I wish they had music downstairs as well. Yeah, it's a good vibe. Yeah. I mean, we don't really have much to do until. wines from many different warehouses to store wine and to age wine here underground. Basically those 55 kilometers they are like a small underground wine city and just like every city of course. I don't think it's gonna really be a nice picture now I think. Wine from the entire world and we were introduced in the Guinness World Record of in 2005 with an amount of 1.5 million bottles of wine. Um, of course, I would say that nowadays this information is a bit old because from 2005 we constantly actually uh, continue to increase this collection and nowadays, yes. Yeah. Just after the top of West Point, of course, we'll start to smile. Being smile, everything is great, but what we have some topics to discuss, and it's actually recommended to remain here at this step. <laughs> Go oh, baby, come, I'm gonna film you. <laughs> Bravo! Farte frumos! <laughs> Walk us through of what you have on the plates and the wine you have. We have little itty bitty sandwiches with sprays on it. <laughs> um, to the first sandwich we have, if you refer to the last place, just a this. piece of bread with what's that? Um, I don't know, it's just ham, or not ham, sorry, prosciutto. Yeah, and then the second one is um, this one, yeah. Yeah, that's what. Aubergine, tomato, onion. onion. Um, and then the third one, I think, is a typical Italian, just with some tomato, cheese, and that's no, kind of Moldovian as well. All Moldovian, then. but um, they put some superfood on it, which it's not Moldovian, but we'll okay. take it. <laughs> and then we have some prune stuff with nuts, nuts there. So, walnuts, give her a birthday, walnuts. <laughs> baby. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is very typical Moldovian like. Um, tell us about the wine. So, I really don't know what exactly the wine names are, but we have Merlot, the red one. Yeah, well, the white wine first is like a uh, very fetasco. fragrant white wine, but I'll say the taste is very, not bland, but it's just a very simple taste that you get after the very fragrant smells. Then we get a cherry, Merlot type vibe, it's a bit of the dry side again. And then last we got a dessert wine that I haven't tried yet, but I'll give you feedback later. Yeah. Yeah, uh, just from my side, this tastes a bit like cognac, so it's very strong. And she also said, like, in the summer, it's gonna be very, like, um, you can 
can get drunk very easily. And also they started playing live music and I'm gonna get both now because I like live music. So Guys, with this live music I just got very emotional and they like keep going around and just they play like a song from the country that the person is from and then like a Moldovian song so for us it was if they played something from South Africa and then they played back to like a Moldovian song so I've been crying here for 15 minutes probably it's very beautiful What's your name? Hmm? Hey, good boy. Your name is good boy. Katie asks if you're vlogging, so we are vlogging. <laughs> I'm just sending a voice message saying how drunk I am. I am drunk. <laughs> um, yeah, we're still vlogging. I don't even know what to show you guys. Like, Eastern Europe is it's different from like anything that you're probably used to but it's totally worth to visit because you can confirm, confirm that it is worth visiting Eastern oh, Europe yes, exactly <laughs> yeah uh, so yeah I was going now to my auntie's house to have even more food so we left my friends I was supposed to film that but I definitely was too drunk from the wine tasting to to film anything but we're gonna see her again because she's gonna come to my house so mm, yeah it's not like we didn't well, it's not like that was the last time we saw her so yeah she's gonna be back in the vlog by the end of this uh, Moldovan series Alex <laughs> Why is he turning around? <laughs> hey little Faras. Are you the big Faras now? Hey baby. <laughs> what day is today? We are Friday, yeah. No, what day is today? It's Monday. Monday. <laughs> we are walking around town a little bit. Oh look at this. It's like the love heart thing um we're going to go to this shopping center there have some food and look at some shops and then probably go back to my auntie's house and we're probably gonna go back to my aunt's house and then gonna go to my city and go see my granddad already because he can't wait so this is the biggest church here in Kishino city. Maybe we can go inside there later. Let's see. Okay, let's go to Sun City. There was a massive fire here some time ago. This like literally looks like Bolton in South Africa with the piece of Yeah. So which one did you end up get getting? The goose capacho. Okay. Come try it. I just wanna <coughs> See what you think. Good. Does it taste like this? <laughs> it's like say you can like taste like the food like old tongue like so happy wow. so. Okay, well I'll so good. I it. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll take that as a positive. <laughs> okay. Like said, just like layer of fat on it and the right meat just like Yeah. Okay, enjoy baby, let's eat. So baby, are you ready for the village life? Ooh. Walk northwest. Bring you to my tribe. We will cook you and eat you. Gardening, <laughs> <some> chickens. <laughs> oh, 
Tiny fingers. Finally, they're gonna be big, big boy. I need a big boy. <laughs> Going in yeah. We make sure that we celebrate to the fullest. Okay, so this are the trio. I'm going to Kapul in a minibus. Guys, I'm back in South Africa in a taxi, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Getting the full experience we here. We went from first country to third world country again. Yeah, we, we still haven't got there, so... 